So the, one of the other things that I think uh, that I'm going to do this year during the holidays is that I'm kind of going back to an old favorite that uh, was a tried and true favorite when I was growing up, the green bean casserole. And it's wonderful. It's very tasty, very easy, just a few easy steps, but you're using fresh ingredients, but you still get that taste of mushroom. One of the things I like about this casserole is that we raise French green beans out at the farm. Uh, I like to use French green beans a lot of times more than the regular green bean. I think these cook quicker and, uh, the, and a little more evenly, and I just, so I really like a French green bean, so that's why I'm showing you a French green bean. And when you get these at the grocery store, they're usually cut at the end. One end is usually uh, cut off, but there's usually another, there's one of these ends has not been cut. So make sure you snap that off. With a French green bean, it's not really that tough, so it probably isn't a terrible thing, but I actually go in and I cut all of these off. The next step I will do is that I'll go in and I'll cut these all in half. I will cook these green beans. They'll probably not need to cook more than about, I'll put some water in a saucepan, I'll let it boil, put a little salt in there. I love to always cook my, my vegetables with salt because you'll use far less salt if you cook it while you, if you add the salt while the vegetable is cooking rather than add it later. So I'll put a little salt in the water, let it boil, probably let it cook for about four minutes until they're just starting to get tender. Uh, slice them up. As I said, put them in about two tablespoons of oil, let them be cooking down, then add about three tablespoons of shallot to that. Let that start cooking down and getting soft. You'll get all of that, that melding of flavors together. So then once that's kind of beginning to meld, then I will add some flour to that, some all-purpose flour, probably about three tablespoons of all-purpose flour, and I'll mix that up. I'll make like what is called a roux. It is what is going to thicken this. It's going to make this come together and be thick. So I'll make, I will put a, uh, make a roux out of about three tablespoons of flour. Once I get that mixed and it's, you get all the lumps out of it, then you can go back and add about maybe uh, about a cup of chicken broth to that and about a half a cup of milk. You could add cream, but you don't have to. I mean, just using whole milk or even 2% or 1% milk, it still should come together. It will still thicken. Mix them together. Mix your green beans with your, and now with your cream sauce, your mushroom and your, your shallots and your milk and your flour, that cream sauce, mix it together. Put it in your casserole. So now you've got the base all done. But if you really wanna, also add a nice crunchiness and you don't want that fried uh, piece on there and you're trying to be healthier, I would go back with some panko or even better, take a couple of slices of whole wheat bread out of your, out of your uh, loaf of bread that you may have and then just give it a quick whirl in a, in a food processor until you break it down and it's just really like breadcrumbs or tiny little uh, uh, breadcrumbs and I would then take that and sprinkle it over the top. So you don't even need the fried onions or the fried shallots. Uh, certainly this casserole is getting a comeback now. I see it in all the magazines. I, uh, it's, uh, it's in all the food stores. So it, it, but again, it's about how you make it with fresh ingredients. And, and then also then what I'm trying to, to let you know is that we can still have that wonderful green bean casserole, and, but you can also make it healthy.